Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, we'll be taking a basic topic in ecology, ecosystem. If you know you're new to this channel, please kindly press the subscribe button and like the video so that you get notification whenever I post a new video. We'll be running through this outline. What is an ecosystem? Types of ecosystem. The structure of ecosystem and significance or importance of ecosystem study. What is an ecosystem? As you can see from the ecosystem on the board, is an eco is a geographic area where the plants, animals, other organisms, as well as their non-living environment, interact to form a bubble of life. It can also be described as a study where plants, animals interact among themselves as well as their non-living environment to form a self-sustaining unit or an ecological unit of life. You can look at the ecosystem being displayed. The plant provides food for the animals. While the animals defecate enriching the soil with nutrients, the plant gives out oxygen as a waste during the process of photosynthesis. While the animals give out carbon dioxide, which the plant utilizes for process of photosynthesis. So this interaction between the among the living organisms as well as the interaction with their non-living component actually form a bubble of life or a self-sustaining unit of life. That's the reason why you see a forest ecosystem which has attained a climate condition maintaining its structure for a long time. Or a pond, a river ecosystem without the interference of man or a natural disaster, the condition will remain relatively the same for a long period of time. An ecosystem can be large, such as country, the largest ecosystem uh, it's actually the Earth, the planet Earth. Or it can be small, can be a little pond, a puddle, or just a stone where some biological activities is being carried out. What are the types of ecosystem? We have the aquatic ecosystem has been displayed, and we have the terrestrial, terrestrial ecosystem. Components of an ecosystem or the structure of an ecosystem. The structure of an ecosystem, of an ecosystem is divided into two. The biotic component and the abiotic component. The biotic component actually comprise of the living component of the ecosystem. And they comprise of the producers, the consumers, and the decomposers. In a forest ecosystem, for example, the producers are the plants and perhaps the microorganisms that carry out chemotitensis in some cases. While the consumers are actually the animals, then we have the decomposers that actually help to break down dead remains of plants and animals. The abiotic component of the ecosystem involves the gaseous environment, the hair, which makes up the atmospheric component, we have the water, making up the what? Hydrosphere, and we have what? The lithosphere, which is actually the soil, or in some cases, the rock, rocky what? Environment. So, in summary, the ecosystem is divided into two components. The biotic component comprised of the living component, and the abiotic component comprised of what? The non-living component. Why? Do we study ecosystem or the significance of ecosystem studies? Ecosystem is actually um, studied to understand the basic services that the ecosystem provides for mankind. For example, the ecosystem provides pollinators service for our crops that we actually plant. The ecosystem enables us to understand nature the planet nature, the, 
The ecosystem actually enables us to understand the planet Earth and enables us uh, to manage it effectively. Various aspects of the, or various uh, other significance of ecosystem studies is being highlighted on the board. Thank you very much.